Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today, we're gonna sharpen an ax. A few times in the last couple of weeks, I've mentioned on social media that I'm working on removing a few tree stumps. We had some trees cut down in our yard last fall and the stumps are still there. So it's been my project for the last month or so to remove these stumps. Now ideally I'd like to be to dig them right out of the ground completely, but the ground is somewhat frozen and that's a lot of work to do by hand. My goal ended up being just to get them below the surface so that I can cover them over and they never existed. The way I've been doing that is by using a chainsaw, making slices down into the stump and then hacking those slices out with this ax. Now this ax is nothing fancy, just a hardware store ax, but it is taking a beating and we need to fix this edge really, really bad. So I'm going to bring you in here nice and close so you can see how horrible this edge is. There's a chip right there, lots of nicks, some dents and dings, and that thing couldn't cut anything if it tried. Now to get this thing nice and sharp, I'm not going to use anything any fancier than this file and later on a little sharpening stone. So let's look at how I'm going to set this up to do this sharpening. Are you ready for this high tech setup? All I'm doing is clamping the axe to my table. I'm using these style clamps as opposed to like an F style clamp. I'm afraid an F style clamp would put an indent in the handle and may mar it up, which really isn't a big deal, but I'm trying to avoid it if at all possible. If that's all you have, by all means, use what you got. My goal is really just to make sure that this thing's not gonna move. All right, so hopefully you can see this raggedy old blade. I'm gonna start out by running my file over the blade just lightly, and that's just so I can see the angle that I'm holding my file. I'm gonna adjust the angle of my file to get it to cut across the front edge of the blade. Once I find it, I'll just start making passes with a little bit more pressure. Now you'll notice I'm not filing all crazy back and forth and back and forth. The file is meant to cut in one direction. So there's no reason to just go all wild and file away like a maniac. You can start to see how quickly it actually starts cleaning up the blade. Now this side's not done. There's still some dings and really deep scratches that I need to get out. So now I've got most of the scratches out. There's still some chips and nicks down here, but I'm gonna flip the blade over and file on the other side. I'll just keep flipping the sides over, making sure I file each side evenly. You don't wanna to file too much on one side or you'll end up with your point off center. Now I'm finding that I need just to spend a little more time on both of the edges. They were really rounded over and it's taken a little bit more filing to get an edge on it than it does in the middle. Once you're done filing on both sides, you can get a pretty decent and a very usable edge using just a file. It's pretty sharp right now. So it'll cut paper, it's a little raggedy, we can do better. We're gonna take our sharpening and step it up a notch. I'm gonna use one of these little sharpening pucks. Now this thing is made by Lansky, not sponsored by Lansky or anything, but I have used several Lansky products with a lot of success in the past, and this one is just the same. If you're interested in this little guy, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description. I'm gonna start out with the stone on the rougher side. I'm just gonna use some three-in-one oil And even after only a few passes, I can already feel the edge getting refined and more sharp. Once I remove all the file marks with the stone, I'll switch over to the finer side and finish the edge. I 
I really do like this little thing. It's really handy. You can throw it in your bag, take it with you camping. Really handy gizmo to have around. Usually my last few passes, I try to make just really light swipes without swirling. What was that? You said it's still not sharp enough? I think we can step it up one more notch using a leather strop with some green compound. I made this strop a while back. If you're interested to see how I did it so you can make your own, I'll put a link down below in the description to that video. After several passes, the blade starts to get really shiny and sharp. And now, should be able to shave with it. Probably can't see that, but I don't have hairy enough arms. <laughs> Whether or not you've got a hardware store axe or a very expensive, high quality axe, this is a good way to get it nice and sharp. And once you've spent this kind of time, putting a nice edge on an axe, it does make you think twice about how you treat the edge so you don't have to do this again too soon. So thanks a lot for checking out this video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Like always, links in the description to social media, website, all that fun stuff. And with that being said, until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Once you've sharpened an axe this way and you've really put the time in to getting it this sharp, it kind of makes you treat the edge a little bit nicer instead of just taking it out there and whacking it into the ground, which I may or may not have done before trying to cut those stumps out. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Ooh, that was a good timing. Phone rings just as I turn off the camera. All right, axe, prepare to be stropped. <laughs>